now. Uh, Coinbase is in the top 10 uh, because we really do believe, while we are in a massive slump right now, uh, we do believe that the three revolutions around crypto that we set forth in our Big Ideas 2022, and you can find that on our website, that they um, that they are underway and they and and they will not be stopped. The money revolution, that's Bitcoin first global digital private rules based monetary system. Uh, uh, DeFi, DeFi uh, really came of age uh, in 20 and 21. And uh, while the reach for yield went way too far and the leverage uh, in some uh, protocols way too far and algorithmic stable coins, uh, as an economist myself, I didn't understand them. It makes sense that they're not going to exist. Uh, but DeFi itself is has taken off, and we're impressed at how robust the ecosystem has been. A lot of people expected the Terra Luna meltdown to cause a systemic uh, chain reaction, and we're seeing a little bit of that. Uh, but so far, so far, the Ethereum uh, uh, blockchain upon which DeFi is built has held up very well. And then the third revolution, which is the it's most in its infancy is probably where the token uh, revolution was in 2017, and that's NFTs. But we do believe that digital property rights, which what, which is what uh, NFTs represent, digital property rights are going to become incredibly important. I know, again, from my economic background, that property rights lift people and countries out of poverty. And we think that the opportunities that the uh, digital property rights will um, uh, will will allow creators uh, is creators and and many others. We're going to find all kinds of utility, and we can't even think of it right now. Just like we couldn't understand quite what DeFi was going to be when tokens first came around. So we're we're believers, and we think. The ecosystem, if it consolidates, that's not a bad thing. Uh, we do think that digital wallets are going to be uh, one of the most important outcomes here. Uh, they effectively bank branches in our pockets. And we are trying to figure out who are, who's going to be the digital wallet. It's going to be winner take most, or there will be two or three of them. So is it, uh, is it Cash App? So Block is in our top 10. Is it Coinbase? Coinbase is in our top 10. These are going to be huge opportunities. Again, you'll, you can find them in Big Ideas 2022. Is it going to be Robinhood FTX? We don't know. All we know is that the opportunity is huge. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, you know, I come back with that video just to make you think. And we have Kathy Woods. And we know she could care less about this legacy market. She is all in on the fourth industrial revolution. Remember, the NWO works off problem, reaction, solution. Inflation is high. What tool do they use? Raise rates. And then on top of it, guys, by raising rates, what is that going to do? Shrink liquidity out of the system, which will cause mass consolidation in stocks and especially in cryptos and the robots and algorithms and drones are going to cause what hyper deflation because it takes the human out of the workforce robots algorithms and drones take over the economy and the sheep go inside the metaverse and DeFi is definitely the new banking and nfts are nothing but a digital id inside the virtual world and remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows when it comes to the new road order, it's all planned out. You have a wonderful day. Increases consumer sentiment as measured by the University of Michigan, which we think is the best measure out there, uh, is down to record low levels, below 0809, below 80 and 81. I had just started my career and inflation and interest rates were in the double digits, 15, 20%. And consumer sentiment today is lower than it was back then. And most interestingly, in the last report, many people think, oh, the, 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 the heavy spenders will, will uh, keep this thing going. Consumer sentiment of the, in the highest income groups is lower than in the 
the lowest income groups and those the latter group is being you know it, it tormented by food and energy prices which are really a regressive tax increase here to them uh, so inflation has been a bigger problem but i think uh that it has set us up for deflation uh, uh, and then finally wanted to get your thoughts on crypto and web3 if you will especially given the fact that valuations, the prices of, especially of crypto have come down, how that changes or doesn't well, change the it, equation. It, and I know Web3 may be considered a different thing than crypto. I know we, we sort of converge well, these well, things. Uh, uh, again, these are marketing terms, but if you assume that, that Web3 was 10 times overhyped and it's corrected five times, it's got some more to go. It's got some more to go. <laughs> and therefore? Look, the Web3 vision is correct. The technology to make it happen needs to get built. Here's an example. Ethereum goes to crazy prices with a right. million transactions a day. That's incredibly slow. It needs to get be rebuilt. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come, Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers, and that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part one, King Joshua and Grandma Tim face the village. Part two, King Joshua and Grandma Tim face New York. Long COVID 33. Part three, King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.